This might seem controversial, but if you're a compulsive eater, it doesn't make you a food addict. There is a theory that food can be addictive, causing changes in the brain that seem similar to those seen with a drug addiction. Researchers have found that food manufacturers deliberately develop and design foods to increase your consumption of those foods, creating what is now known as hyperpalatable foods. And these products uh, can be seen to override your natural satiety signals. But don't get me wrong, feeling addicted to certain foods is a valid experience and it can manifest with addiction-like behaviours. However, many experts question the legitimacy of equating compulsive eating with drug or alcohol addiction. Strong cravings for certain foods are linked to biological drives that vary from person to person, especially if you've been restricting foods, labelling foods as good or bad, or under eating, for example. When you try to eliminate binge type foods from your diet, you might find yourself obsessing over them constantly. And once you succumb to the craving and begin to eat these foods, you may feel like you're unable to stop and feel utterly out of control. However, experts believe this is not the same as the experiences associated with drug and substance abuse. Of course, one of the problems with this food addiction model is that we cannot simply abstain from eating food like we can with alcohol and drugs. The theory also overlooks all the factors that contribute to binge and emotional eating. Additionally, certain studies show that you actually become less interested in certain foods the more you are exposed to them. And this leads to reduced cravings for that food. This contradicts the idea that the binge foods must be eliminated forever. So while certain foods can elicit addiction-like responses, adopting a deprivation mindset is counterintuitive. Conversely, by addressing key underlying factors that I've outlined in my upcoming book about overcoming binge and emotional eating, will help you heal your relationship with food, overcome your eating behaviours and eventually be able to feel comfortable around all foods without the need for restriction. Until next time.